Hey, horror fans, once again, it's the Horror Minds of Money GS. Time to do another tag video. This is an interesting tag. <laughs> I was tagged by Doc Fates. Ghostly Horror. Yeah, it's, it's my boy, Sean Urshan, from the Horror Corner. But he was overtaken by some otherworldly creature called Dark Fate. And he created this nice ghostly tag horror where we could talk about all our favorite ghost or haunted horror movies and tags. So you know I had to do this tag. <laughs> now this is Doc's fate. Uh, ghostly tag. There are eight questions in the tag and I love how Sean did it. It was incredible. I love it. <laughs> and now the first question is what is your favorite haunted house horror movie? Now there are plenty of haunted movies, but going back in the day from the House of Haunted Hill, or The Haunting, The Haunted, <laughs> The Amityville Horror, but I decided to go with Steven Spielberg's Poltergeist. Yes, it's a great horror movie. It uh, was a fantastic movie. It definitely had its uh, suspense and scares. Uh, obviously, the movie was also plagued by supernatural uh, forces, and unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, couple of people once he passed away after the movie was made. So that picture did actually not only was haunted in the film, but actually had some real haunting in real life. But favorite haunted house horror movie is Poltergeist. The next question, question two from Dark Fate, is what is your favorite ghost story horror movie? <laughs> now, there's a bit of a difference between a haunted house and a ghost story. Now, a ghost story means that there's an entity that's haunting the house. A haunted house means that the house is haunted by a ghost. Now, they could be both in the same. You know, you could have a house that is haunted, or you can have a ghost. But a ghost can haunt you any, anywhere. It doesn't matter where you go. Hence, uh, the movie I saw, again, probably for the eighth or ninth or tenth time, uh, Insidious. <laughs> because it didn't matter where that family went. They kept haunting the child. That's the difference between a ghost story and a haunted house story, and uh, I decided to go against the uh, go against the grain here and talk about an old underrated horror movie called The Entity. Now, of course, this actually stars Barbara Hershey, who is unfortunately is being attacked, sexually attacked, by some entity, and it was very good. I loved that movie. Uh, Barbara Hershey is very good in the role. She's very determined to stop this entity from haunting her. We don't know why or what purpose that the entity wants to do it for her, but it was a pretty good movie, and I enjoyed it. So, favorite ghost story horror movie is The Entity. Question number three, what is your favorite ghost story non-horror movie? Now, I found this one pretty interesting because I actually had to find out all the non-horror ghost stories because there are non-horror ghost story movies that are out there and i think everyone will enjoy this one this will be the original ghostbusters <laughs> yes yes it does have ghosts in there and the movie is funny <laughs> now we do have some small elements of horror thrown in there but it's mostly not a horror movie it's a comedy movie uh semi actions you could guess you say semi horror, obviously with Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Ernie Hudson, uh, Ernie Hudson, all the gang right there. I think it's Howard Ramis. I think his name, name is. He's in this as well. Yeah. So favorite non horror ghost story will be Ghostbusters, the original. No, not that terrible remake. Question number four, which I also thought was another interesting question. Who is your favorite ghost? Ooh. <laughs> now. This was kind of a hard question because I you know as me as watch horror throughout the years, I had to pick and choose which one would actually fit this character the best, uh, coming from me, the horror minds of Monty G. And I thought, what better way than to talk about Kekio, if I pronounce that right, from the grudge. Oh yeah, she is no joke when it comes to being the ghost. Born from a race of her ex-husband who uh, thought that she was having an affair with her teacher. He kills her, kills the cat, kills the boy, and kills himself. And now they're doomed to stay in that apartment. Anyone that goes to that apartment will be cursed from Kekio. And of course, how can you get that rattling sound? <laughs> That's just as bad 
that's a clucking sound from the hereditary. But when you hear that that rattle, at your ass, <laughs> you're done. So yeah, that even makes her such a more creepy character, but not the fact that she's ghostly and she has that hair all over the place and a gay stare. But that sound coming from her voice, that death rattle that she made, because that's the last sound she made after her husband killed her. So anytime you hear that sound, that's your ass. So number four favorite ghost story, uh, favorite ghost. Kekio from The Grudge. Question number five, which I thought was a pretty good uh, question. What do you think is the scariest moment in a ghost horror movie? <laughs> now, there are plenty, but I think the most creepiest and scariest one, and Sean picked this as well, but I had to agree with him, was uh, Samara coming out of the well and coming out of the TV screen in the ring. I mean, that's creepiest. You see her coming out of the well. It's bad enough when you watch that cursed videotape and she says, Seven days. And after seven days, all of a sudden, she, uh, you see the TV screen go blank and you see her coming out the well and she literally just comes out the TV screen. And then all of a sudden, she just comes and gives you that depth stare and you just, it scares the living shit out of you. And that's no joke neither. <laughs> So definitely the creepiest or scariest moment in a ghost horror is Samara coming out of the well and to the TV screen. Question number six, which ghost movie had the spookiest atmosphere? There's no joke about it. Uh, obviously both Conjuring movies had the best atmosphere. I mean, you have these nice family, whether it was from the, uh, the parents, I think this was from the first movie, or the British family in the second movie. There, you feel for them, you feel sorry for them because they're just nice family. They're trying to live their uh, lives, and all of a sudden they're being threatened by this entity. You are in uh, Bathsheba in the first movie, and Varric in the demonomic nun in the second movie. And, uh, and both movies do a great job in giving the great atmosphere a lot of dread, suspense, and spookiness. And yeah, especially in the first one, I thought it was set up nicely. Especially because you care about the family in the, in the first movie. And you care about the family in the second movie. So that's great how they set up this atmosphere of making it real spooky and scary. So both Conjuring movies for question number six. Question number seven. What's your favorite possession movie? Everyone <laughs> knows this question. And no, I want to answer this question. The Exorcist. <laughs> Next. And now for the eighth and final question. What do you think... Is the scariest moment in a possession horror movie? Well, obviously, it's going to involve The Exorcist. Now, you have to understand, when I first saw The Exorcist, and again, I told this story before, I have snuck in, me and my friend snuck in, just saw The Exorcist. I was about 13 to 14 years old at the time when The Exorcist first came out. And to see Reagan turn her head a full, I think it's 180 degrees, it's the first time anyone ever saw that in a horror movie. And to see that on screen, the whole audience. I mean, it was bad enough at the beginning of the scene where uh, Reagan is, unfortunately, where the, her possessed Reagan is telling Reagan to masturbate with uh, Cross and telling her to F Jesus. That's what's bad enough. But to see her turn her head a full 180 degrees and she turns up and tells uh, her mother, Do you know what she did? I won't say what else she said, but to see that scene for the first time, the half the audience was aghast. I mean, it was, I mean, it was just unbelievable to see that in the theaters at that time. I mean, we've seen it now before, but you really have to understand where I'm coming from to see that on the screen and seeing the audience reaction for that one. At least, I think, at least a third of the audience left after that scene. <laughs> I mean, they actually got up. I'm not kidding. I mean, that, that was an incredible scene in the movie. So, obviously, Reagan's 180-degree head turn and her shouting, Do you know what she did? <laughs> and so that's it. Those are all the questions from Dog Fate. <laughs> got to give my man Sean some credit for coming up with this one and how he filmed the video. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Uh, for that video because he did a great job and I love how he uh, incorporated his character, Darface character for this tag. Now of course 
Uh, now it comes a time where I'm supposed to tag a lot of people. Now, he actually tagged almost everybody that we normally tag in this tag, but he did leave out one person. And you know what that is, my sexy rare witch, Quinny Todd. You have now been tagged by the horror, my Zamani G, who you know better as Grandpa Horror. <laughs> um, let's see, who else? Uh, if, if, uh, I don't know if Ivan does tags anymore. I know he's in Hollywood right now. I'd like to see Ivan to do this tag from the movie, boy. I'll tag him as well. And if any of you are watching this video right now, consider yourself tagged by the horror, my Zamani G. Just remember. To make sure that you give credit to the dark face. <laughs> uh, because this is his tag. Otherwise, he might haunt you. So, that's my video for the day, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Because it does help the channel out a lot. And once again, this is your first time here. Please hit that subscriber button. Ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me. The horror of my Zamani G. And as always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Let's get my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the Horror My Zamani G. And always remember all the rules. <laughs> Vince, take us home. We're out. <laughs>